of Jesus. Amen. I'll be speaking briefly on the topic, the force of joy. The force of joy. And I want us to start our reading from uh, the book of Romans chapter 14. Romans chapter 14 uh, verse 17. The book of Romans chapter 14 verse 17. Pastor B, I would love you to read for us. For the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, mm -hmm. but righteousness mm -hmm. and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And for everyone that is listening to me this morning, that you are a child of God, that you are a citizen of the kingdom, the Bible say, gives us here some of the characteristics of the kingdom. It said the kingdom of God is not meat and drink. That is, it's not just about eating and drinking, mm -hmm. but it's about some things. Mm -hmm. And one of the things it mentions is joy in the Holy Ghost. Joy in the Holy Ghost is a character of the kingdom. Hallelujah. Joy in the Holy Ghost is a virtue for citizens of the kingdom to, 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 to demonstrate the virtue they should have in their lives joy in the Holy Ghost. The kingdom of God is not in meat and drinks, mm. but in righteousness, in peace, and in joy in the, the Holy, Holy Ghost. Ghost. In other words, it's not just any type of joy, but a type of joy that the Holy Ghost can bring. Hallelujah. Amen. A type of joy that the Holy Ghost shall can bring. Mm. Hallelujah. And he says that is how the kingdom of God is. Righteousness, peace, and joy mm. in the, the Holy, Holy Ghost. Ghost. Now, joy is a very powerful force. Mm. In the kingdom of God, joy is a very powerful force, and God wants you to demonstrate the virtue of joy. Mm. In the book of Galatians chapter 5 verse 22, in Galatians 5 22, the Bible talks about the fruit, the fruit of, of the, the spirit. spirit. The fruit of the spirit. The fruit of the spirit is the virtue, you know, that the Holy Spirit produces in the life of a believer. And let's look at this fruit of the Spirit. Can you read for us? Well, the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, joy yeah. peace, long-suffering, mm -hmm. gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such, there is no law. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, the Bible makes us to understand nine fruits of the Spirit, but it mentions joy mm -hmm. as one of the fruit of the Spirit. In other words, when you are a citizen of the kingdom, we should see that joy that the Holy Ghost can produce Hallelujah. in your life. We should see that joy that the Holy Ghost can produce in your life. Righteousness and joy. Joy in the Holy Ghost. It is a fruit mm. of the Spirit. Hallelujah. And joy is so important because a lot of things are tied up to joy. Mm. 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 A lot of things are tied up to joy. Mm. And joy seems to be a very important requirement of the kingdom that makes that opens the door to several possibilities. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That opens the door to several possibilities. In Isaiah chapter 12, verse 3, the Bible says something concerning joy. Isaiah 12, verse 3, please read for us. Therefore with joy shall you draw water out of the wells of salvation. Hallelujah. Amen. With joy you will draw water, water. out of the wells of salvation. salvation. Now salvation there will talk of redemption. It will talk of God's saving. The saving power of God. Mm. And therefore we can say with joy, you will draw water out of the well of healing. Mm. 
Hallelujah. Out of the well of prosperity. Hallelujah. Out of the well of blessing. Glory out of the well of longevity. Hallelujah. Out of the well of, of dominion yeah. over principalities yeah. and power. Yeah. In other words, joy becomes a requirement yeah. to connect him with the saving power of God. Hallelujah. With the saving power of God. So for you to see, you know, the power of God at work in your life as a believer, mm -hmm. you will need joy Hallelujah. of the Holy Ghost. Amen. You will need joy in your heart. Hallelujah. You will need the joy in the Holy Ghost Amen. in your heart Amen. for you to see the saving power of God. Hallelujah. Joy in the Holy Ghost. Amen. With joy. And you know, one thing the enemy tries to do from time to time is to steal your joy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is to steal your joy. That, that's one thing the enemy tries to do. He will try to do everything possible mm -hmm. to make sure that your joy is stolen. Mm -hmm. To make sure that you do not have joy in the Holy Ghost. Because he understands the importance of joy. He knows that you need joy in the Holy Ghost for certain things to begin to happen in your life. You need joy in the Holy Ghost. Mm. And because he understands the importance of this joy... It wants to make sure that your joy is stolen. But I'm praying for everyone hearing me today that the enemy will not steal your joy. You know why? Mm. He didn't give you the joy to start with. Mm. So he's got no power to steal the joy that the almighty God mm. has given to you. Amen. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. You know, in the book of... Uh, of Acts of Apostles, chapter 27, when they were on this long journey, you know, this voyage to Rome, and the Bible says that before they left, mm -hmm. Apostle Paul had sensed in the spirit that there was going to be danger. danger. So he had told the captain that they should not leave. But you see, uh, the Bible says the captain decided to listen to the experts. Mm -hmm. And you know, in our teachings on faith, one of the things we said is that, yeah, is you know, the expert advice is good, good. but if God is speaking to you, mm. obey God. Yes. Obey God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because faith works when you are in the will of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, and the, the Bible says that for a period of days, for 14 days, yes. they've, they've not eaten. Mm. Because they thought they were going to die. Mm. And they were down, they were depressed. Well, let's look at the exhortation that Apostle Paul gave, you know, from verse 21, uh, from verse 20. Let's see what he said. Acts 27, from verse 20. And when neither sun nor stars in many days appeared, mm. and no small tempest lay on us, all hope that we should be saved was, was taken taken away. away. All hope that they should be saved was what? Was taken, taken away. away. Hallelujah. Now, let's move on. But after long abstinence, mm. Paul stood forth in the midst of them and said, Sirs, you should have hearkened unto me and not have loosed from Crete and to have gained this harm and lost. Mm. And now I exalt you to be of good chair. To be of what? Good, good chair. chair. That is... Let joy, be, let joy return. Amen. Now, the, be of good cheer, yeah, go on. For, For there shall be no loss of any man's life uh -huh. among you but of the sheep. Yeah. For there stood by me this night the angel of God, whose I am, and whom I serve, saying, mm. Fear not, Paul, for thou must be brought before Caesar, and lo, God has given thee all them that sail with thee. Verse 25. Well, sirs, be of good cheer, for I believe God, that it shall be evil as it was told me. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, in the midst of this hopelessness, mm. Paul said here, all hope that we should be saved was lost. All hope. All hope. There was no hope anymore for them. Mm. 
Because for 14 days, mm. there was no sun, there was no moon, no star. Mm. They were no stars, they were caught up in the midst of the a storm. terrible storm called Eurocline. There are people listening to me this morning or this night or this evening or this afternoon, wherever you may be, and you are caught up in the midst of a storm. Mm. And you are wondering, will I ever be able to survive? Mm. Now, when Paul had an encounter with the angel of God, the first thing he told the people is, let your joy return. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because God has given me assurance that we are not dying. We are coming out Hallelujah. of this mess. Glory we are coming out of this storm. But let your Glory joy Glory. return. Glory. Let your garment of joy come back to you. Mm. And I want to encourage Hallelujah. someone that is listening to me Hallelujah. today. Let your garment of joy Lord, be restored. Lord. Let Amen. your garment of joy Amen. be restored. Amen. You might be in the midst of a Amen. storm. But he said, God said, Hallelujah. for there shall be no loss. Hallelujah. And I want to say this to you. COVID-19, you know, economic recession may be affecting a lot of people. But I want you to know today you will not suffer any loss. Amen. Therefore, Amen. receive the garment of joy Hallelujah. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I command Hallelujah. the spirit of heaviness Hallelujah. to be Amen. taken away from your life Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You know, the Bible calls joy the garment of joy in the book of Isaiah when it's, you know, the Messiah was speaking. Because, you know, heaviness is also like a garment. Mm. It just comes on you. That I thing just covers you. Mm. And before you know it, you are down. You are depressed. Right. You just cannot, you know, get yourself together. He said in that Isaiah, I think we need to read that Isaiah 61. Let's see what the Messiah said. Hallelujah. Mm. He said, we are all be of good cheer. Be of good cheer. That is, let your garment of joy be restored to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let your garment of joy. Please, I want you to read again uh, from Isaiah 61, verse 1. But our emphasis is verse 3. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me. Yeah. Because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings unto the big. Yeah. He has sent me to bind up the broken hearted, mm -hmm. to proclaim liberty to the captives, yeah. and the opening of the prison to them that are bound, mm. to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord mm. and the day of vengeance of our God to mm. comfort all that mourn, mm. to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion, to give unto them beauty for ashes, mm. the oil of joy for mourning, mm. the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Let, let's stop there. Hallelujah. The garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. The oil of joy for morning. morning. In other words, you know, the oil they are talking of the anointing, the anointing of joy. Hallelujah. When the anointing is Hallelujah. upon you, joy should burst forth. Right. Instead of the spirit of heaviness. So heaviness is a spirit. Mm. It comes on people like a garment. Mm. And once it comes, you can't free yourself. But it says that the oil of joy for the spirit of heaviness, the oil of joy for the spirit of heaviness. Hallelujah. Glory be Hallelujah. to God. Glory Hallelujah. To God. So the Bible says that this is how the kingdom of God is. Mm. Righteousness, peace, and, and joy, joy in, in the, the Holy, Holy Ghost. Ghost. So Paul told them, I've had an encounter with the angel of God, but you have to be of good cheer first. You see that in that passage in Acts 27, twice he told them, be of good cheer. Mm -hmm. That is, if you want to see the power of God, mm -hmm. be of good cheer. Mm -hmm. Put on the spirit of joy again. Hallelujah. Put on the garment of joy, the garment of praise. Let joy well up, well up within your heart. Amen. Now, in the book of Ezra, chapter 8, there was an event in there when they had finished building, mm. uh, you know, the tabernacle or the temple, the second temple, which is called Zerubbabel's temple. And then the Bible says the younger generation, you know, they, 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 they were happy seeing it. And then the older generation, they were weeping and people some were weeping, some were crying, some were rejoicing and all that. And there was a confusion there. 
And then Ezra said something. Can you just go to the book of Ezra, chapter 8 for us? Ezra chapter 8, verse 10. Ezra chapter 8, verse 10. And of the sons of Shalomis, the sons of Joseph, and within and hundred and three scored meals. No, Ezra, is that um, chapter 8? Chapter 8? Yes. Yeah, let me check it again. Just a minute. That must have been a, a wrong quotation. Hallelujah. Okay. You know. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Now, Ezra, um, chapter, yeah, chapter 8. Sorry, Nehemiah. Sorry, I was quoting Ezra. <laughs> Nehemiah, chapter 8, verse 10. Okay. Yeah, Nehemiah, chapter 8, verse 10. Then he said unto them, Go your way, eat the fat, and drink the sweet, yeah. and send portions unto them, for whom nothing is prepared. For this day is holy unto our Lord, neither be ye sorry, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. Hallelujah. Amen. The Amen. joy of the Lord, the Lord is your strength. This was at this time they just read, you know, the uh, the law, the people were weeping and all that. And then he said, No, don't be sorry. The joy of the, the Lord, Lord is your strength. strength. So when you are joyful in the Lord, Hallelujah. you connect with strength. Amen. When you are joyful, in the Lord, you connect with strength. When you are joyful in the Lord, you connect with strength. The joy of the Lord is your strength. The joy of the Lord Hallelujah. is your strength. Amen. And I want to say this to you. If you are losing strength, mm. put on the oil of joy. Hallelujah. Put on the garment of joy. Mm. You're going to see strength come back in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You know, I remember many years ago we used to sing the song, The Joy of the Lord is My Strength. 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 The joy of the Lord is my my strength. Now, let me begin to wrap it up this way by saying, your joy in the Holy Ghost is not tied to what is happening around you. You know, naturally as human beings, we tend to tie our joy to what is happening around. So if you have a good news, you just got a new job, got a promotion in the office bought a car, bought a house, you know, had a good news, then we are joyful. But from God's perspective, because joy is linked to the miraculous, to you, you know, connecting with the power of God, joy from God's perspective shouldn't be tied to what is happening around you. Hallelujah. It shouldn't be tied. In the book of Habakkuk, Habakkuk chapter 3, we want to see something there concerning joy. Habakkuk chapter 3. Because joy should not be tied to what is happening around you. Now let's read verses 17 and 18. Although the fig tree shall not blows up, yeah. neither shall fruit be in the vine, mm. the labor of the olives shall fail, yeah. and the fields shall yield no meat. Yeah. The flock shall be cut off from the fold, yeah. and there shall be no herd in the storm. Yeah. Yet I will rejoice in the Lord. Uh -huh. I will joy in the God of my salvation. Hallelujah. Amen. Now look at this word from the prophet Habakkuk. In other words, it's making us to understand that our joy shouldn't be tied to what is happening. He said, the fig tree shall not blossom. The olive, the, the, the vines may not have fruit. The olive may fail. Everything around may fail. But that is not going to affect my joy. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. That is not going to affect my joy. In spite of everything, the fields may yield no meat. 
The flock shall be cut off from the fold. There shall be no herd in the store. He said, but yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will rejoice in the Lord. I will joy in the God of my salvation. I will rejoice in the Lord. I will rejoice in the Lord, no matter what the situation is. Now, so your joy should not be tied to what is happening around. Why many are cut off from the miraculous is because they allow their joy to be tied to what is happening around mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. So, they will be joyful when there is money in their account, but when there is no money in their account, joy goes. No joy goes. Mm -hmm. They will be joyful when there is food in the house, but when there is no food in the house, joy goes. They will be joyful when they hear good news, but when there is no good news, joy goes. Mm -hmm. And they fail to realize that joy is tied to the miraculous, Joy is tied to the blessing of God manifesting in their lives. Amen. So because of this, the enemy tries to manipulate events around you so that it can rob you, it can rob you of your joy. Mm, mm, mm. That's what the devil does. He tries to rob you of your joy by manipulating events around you. So certain things you're expecting to happen, when they don't happen, you lose your joy. Mm. And he knows that for as long as that joy is lost, mm. you are cut off. You can't draw well what? water from the well of salvation anymore. He knows that things begin to die around you mm. for as long as your joy is gone. So that the, the desire of the devil is to make sure you lose your joy. Mm. You know, there is a song that I love so much. It says, this joy I have, the devil didn't give it to me. The devil didn't give it, and the devil can't take it away. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The devil Amen. didn't give me this joy, and the devil can't take away this joy from it. Hallelujah. And let this joy continually be in your heart. Hallelujah. So let's read verse 19. Now because Habakkuk said that he was going to rejoice in spite of what was, what was happening, in spite of the lockdown, in spite of the COVID-19 lockdown, in spite of the fact that economic activities are coming to a store, nations are going into recession, what will happen, verse 19? The Lord is my strength. The Lord is my strength. And he will make my feet like high feet. Hallelujah. And he will make me to walk upon my high places. Amen. Hallelujah. To the chief singer on, on my, my strings, strings instrument. instrument. In other words, my choir director, make that into a song. Hallelujah. <laughs> make that into a song. Oh, yes. Now, so when everything was going negative, mm. Habakkuk said, I will rejoice. And yet I will rejoice in the Lord. Mm. And I will joy in the God of my salvation. Hallelujah. And you know, he said that the joy of the Lord is your strength. He said, therefore, the Lord God is my strength. So joy gives me strength from Hallelujah. God. And it will Glory make my Lord. feet like hind feet. feet. Now, you know, a hind is what we call an anantino. And you know, when you look the way antelopes run, you know, they, they kind of jump. Yeah. Because they have very strong uh, hind feet. That is, hind feet is the legs at the back, the back. Right? Not the ones in the front, the ones at the back. They are very strong. The muscles are powerful and they can jump. And he says, it's going to make my feet like that. I will be able to jump and leap over the problems, leap over the situations. I will rejoice. You know why you see antelopes jumping? And you know when, when the way they run, they always jump in because they are very powerful hinds feet. Mm. Now he said that it will make my feet like a hind feet. I'm going to be running. Amen. I'm going to be jumping Hallelujah. over all the problems Amen. and the situations. Hallelujah. Why? Because I have chosen to make to rejoice in the Lord. Mm. I have chosen that I won't allow joy. To be taken away from me. 
He said, He will make me to walk upon my high places. There are high places that you can believe in God for. When you begin to join in the Lord, you will see that God will make you to walk upon your high places. Amen. And he said, my choir director, please compose that into a song. Let me begin to sing it that I will continually rejoice in Amen. the Lord. Amen. You know, Joel says something concerning joy. In Joel chapter 1 verse 12. Joel chapter 1 verse 12. The vine is dried up, yeah. and the fig tree languishes, mm -hmm. the pomegranate tree, the palm tree also, mm. and the apple tree, even all the trees of the field mm. are withered, mm. because joy is withered away from the sons of men. You can see, everything around you responds to the joy within you. That's true. Everything around you responds to the joy within you. So if you want everything around you to change then the joy within you must change. Mm. You must be able to demonstrate that joy if you want everything around you to change. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. So, we have, we have said, joy connects you to the miraculous, mm -hmm. connects you to the power of God. Hallelujah. We have said, mm -hmm. number two, joy is independent mm -hmm. of what is happening, happening around, around you. And that if in spite of what is happening around you, you maintain the spirit of joy, what is happening around you will change. Mm -hmm. Why? Because they will respond to the spirit of joy that is inside your heart mm -hmm. and the joy that is from the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. Now, let's read one or two more, two more scriptures and then we close today. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. I believe somebody is getting blessed today. Amen. Now, I want you to read Isaiah 51, verse 11. Isaiah 51, verse 11. Therefore, the redeemed of the Lord shall return and yeah. come with singing unto Zion, mm. and everlasting joy shall be upon their head. Yeah. They shall obtain gladness and joy and mm. sorrow and money shall flee away. Away. Now, now that scripture is actually... A, a prophecy of the final regarding of Israel, the third regarding of Israel when the Messiah returns. But it has a double reference, and the moral of that place also of that passage affects to, I mean applies to us. It says, The redeemed of the Lord, they shall return. They will come with singing, and everlasting joy shall be upon their head. My prayer for you today is that the spirit of joy will forever be manifested in your life. That at every point in time, you are joyful. Every point in time. I come against the spirit of heaviness that the enemy is casting over your heart right now. And I command it to go. Amen. Let the oil of joy be released upon your life. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Let the oil of joy be released upon Amen. you. There shall be no more sorrow. Amen. No more sign. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I want you to read one more scripture. Isaiah 55 verse 12. Isaiah 55 verse 12 is a very common scripture. You know. Uh, normally it starts from verse 10, but I want you to read verse 12. For you shall go out with joy yeah. and be led forth with peace. You will go out with what? Joy. With joy. This week, you are going out with joy. Amen. Oh, glory Amen. be to God. Amen. You are going out with joy. Yeah? Amen. And be led forth with peace. And be led forth with peace. The yeah? mountains and the hills shall break forth before you into singing. The mountains and the hills. The, the troubles, Hallelujah. you know, the oppositions, what will happen? They will break forth. Why? Because they will respond to the joy with which you are going forth. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Move on. And all the trees of the field shall clap their heads. Oh, glory be to God. All the trees of the field will clap their hands. You will be given that royal welcome. Why? Because you are going out with joy. Hallelujah. Read verse 13 for us. Instead of thorn shall come up the fair tree. Wow, can you see changes happening? Instead of thorn 
shall come up the, the fair tree. tree. Uh -huh. And instead of prayer shall come up the mountain tree. Hallelujah. And it shall be for the Lord for a name. Amen. For an everlasting sign that shall not be cut off. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So when you go out with joy, what happens? The Bible says things begin to change. Hallelujah. Mountains begin to clap. Trees begin to clap their heads. Instead of a thorn, instead of negative report, mm -hmm. you begin to get positive report. Amen. Instead Hallelujah. of sickness, you start seeing healing. Oh, yes, Lord. Instead of lack, you start seeing abundance. Hallelujah. Instead Hallelujah. of lack, you start seeing abundance. Hallelujah. Instead Hallelujah. of death, you see life. Amen. Glory be Hallelujah. to God. Glory be to Amen. God. You will go out with joy. Hallelujah. This week, Hallelujah. go out with joy. Amen. Go out with joy. Amen. Approach every day Amen. this week with joy. Amen. When you wake up, Amen. let the joy be no one goes. Fill your heart Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In closing, I want to say this to you. The spirit of heaviness responds to your word of authority. If you are down right now and the spirit of heaviness is you know, trying to weigh you down. Learn to speak the word of authority. It's very important. Learn to speak the word of authority because the spirit of heaviness responds to your word of authority. Hallelujah. When you command in the name of Jesus, Jesus, you spirit of heaviness out of my life. Amen. Let the joy of the Holy Ghost well up from within my spirit. In the name of Jesus. And as you rejoice in the Lord, you sing, you dance, because that is sign of joy. Let that joy fill your heart today. In the mighty name of Jesus. Pastor B, can you just pray for the people that the spirit of heaviness will be lifted. And that joy and the Holy Ghost will come Glory in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. The Bible says that He has turned my morning into dancing mm. again. Mm. Father will say, Thank you, Lord. Whatever has caused heaviness of heart, mm. whatever Parabashaka. it is that is grieving the heart of yes. God's people, mm. whatever it is that has set you as a weight that is causing anxiety, that is making your heart to quake, mm. we will release the word of authority this morning. Amen. And we command every heaviness to be destroyed. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Let every weight of heaviness be lifted. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Let every yoke of anxiety and agitation, let it be broken this morning. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus, Hallelujah. Bible, Jesus Christ said, He said, Cast your cares upon me yeah. because I care for you. Mm. Pardon me in the name of Jesus. We lay everybody down at your feet this morning yes. and we take up the joy of the Holy Spirit yes. in the name of Jesus. Father, Amen. we agree this morning that this see this moment, let the joy of the Holy Spirit let it permit every life, mm. let it permit every household Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. Blessed be thy holy name. Amen. We'll celebrate for a mighty turn around Amen. in every situation. Amen. A mighty turn around for good. Amen. A mighty turn around for joy. Amen. A mighty turn around for, for lifting. Amen. A mighty turn around for promotion. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, wonderful Son of God. You, in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to God. I believe God will feel that the joy of the Lord fills your heart Amen. right from this moment. Hallelujah. And you begin to rejoice in the Lord. Amen. And I want you to send us your testimonies because I know that once the joy begins to well up within your heart, things will begin to turn around. The testimonies will begin to come Hallelujah. in the mighty name Hallelujah. of Jesus. I um, want to close right now. I want to pray for people who want to give their offerings. Uh, for those that are watching us from all over the world, we have put the church account there. And if you want to give your offering, we want to pray for you, your offering, your tithes, your seed to the Lord. We want you to do that. And we pray that the Lord will multiply your seed soul in the name of Jesus. 
Can you just pray for those who want to give their offerings? Father, we thank you. Amen. Amen. Lord, we appreciate you. Hallelujah. We ask the Lord that you look upon this offering and let them be like so many sorrow acceptable unto you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, whatever is in the heart of your people that they are expecting, you know, answers from you. Father, I pray that with this thing, do exceedingly above me, above all they are requested from you this day in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Let the seed serve as a memorial in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, wonderful Son of God. Bless every giver in the name of Jesus. We we'll speak over the works of your hands, prosperity, productivity, fruitfulness, increase in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, precious Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God bless you for joining us today, uh, 6 p.m. GMT Plus One, West African Time. We will continue on our teachings on faith, and we'll be looking at faith and uh, corresponding action. So we'll be expecting to that you will join us to be a part of it, and we know that God will bless you by this broadcast. And please send us your testimonies. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.